Preps Guide Check Tips for You Go to do motherboard check in and assemble First, insert the processor to the motherboard and then insert fuel thermal paste on it Clean a bit the cooler fan bracket and then screw the cooler fan for the CPU. Clean the RAM sockets and then you, you can insert the RAM to the slots. I cleaned this RAM socket because this was an old motherboard that has been imported from Korea. Then insert 24 pin power connectors to the motherboard and then CPU power connectors to the motherboard. Plug the USB keyboard and mouse. You need to find the power connector pins and then sort it with a screwdriver or anything that driver anything uh, you can turn on it then oh wow it's powered on let's see if it's boot or not yes it's booted I'm sorry because I couldn't so the I forgot to uh, so the monitor this time but I already seen the monitors has came up to the display with the motherboard that's me the motherboard is fine and working so let's go for the other parts Fix the cooler fan 100% because now I am going to uh, assemble the full PC with this motherboard. Do not make it very tight when you screw this make it little bit tight after the stop do not go more further okay so then we open the panel of new chassis let's see that uh, it has the holders for the fixing the motherboard there we have uh, holders for screws but they are not tightly inserted so let's make it extra bit tighten you see those are the holders 
for the motherboard screws. Let's insert the power supply. We use nails to fit the power supply in chassis. the rear panel of motherboard. Now we can insert the motherboard into the chassis. Be careful when you insert the motherboard to the chassis that it could be scratched if you move it inappropriately. You see, I inserted the part that's called a hard disk. The hard disk stores all of your data and also the operating system. Some chassis have different uh, locations for the hard disk. After inserting the hard disk, we are going to plug all the cables to the motherboard. Before it all, we have one more job to do. We have to insert 6 screws to the motherboard that will make stable the motherboard inside the chassis. Like we check, like we inserted while we are checking the motherboard, we have to insert 24 pin power supply cable and the 4 pin power supply cable to the motherboard. This is DVD writer to install Windows or to play DVD in your PC. We have to insert the screws for that too. These red cables are called SATA cables. Those are connect connected to hard disk drives and latest DVD writers for the data communication between motherboard and the device. So I am not going to call in deep with the connectors and the headers on motherboard. If you need more information, please comment down. I will make extra tutorial video for you. The blue wire is also called the SATA cable, only color is different, the same ports. Those tiny cables are from the front panel of the chassis. There comes the LED lid, power lid, reset button and last one for the power button okay it's near to finish the assembly of this PC let's see what's happened connect the VGA cable and 
connect those other all keyboard and mouse so let's turn on this So it's turned on with the power button in casing. Okay, let's see what will come to the screen. When a motherboard turned on for the first time, we have to configure the BIOS. If you need more information how to configure BIOS, please comment down. I will make more extra video for you. Let's see whether it's boot up. It's boot into the desktop because this hard drive have already inserted an operating system. Please subscribe to the Preps Guide channel and keep touch with us. There will be more tech tips for you.